Hi, this is a bit of a different video. In this video, we're gonna discuss three very interesting YouTube channels that I personally follow. I don't watch all of their videos, but I do think they provide quite a bit of value, so you might wanna check those out as well. So there's a good chance you already know about this channel, Benjamin Cohen from Into the Cryptoverse. I follow this channel for quite a while, and he does get the general direction quite right. So this is a macro guy. This is a guy who discusses where Bitcoin, where Ethereum might go over the months, over the years. He's basically the inventor of the lengthening cycle theory. So one or two years ago, a lot of people were still thinking that Bitcoin has to rise and fall according to the four-year halvening. Ben said that this is probably not the case because in the early days, Bitcoin was way more volatile than it is today. And so so I don't agree with everything he says, right? He's pretty bullish on Cardano. I personally don't like Cardano that much. He also has a theory of a bull market support band that I don't find that useful, right? I rather prefer back-tested, simple moving averages. So I find it kind of arbitrary how this support or resistance band here is chosen. But a lot of the content here is very valuable, especially the beauty of mathematics series. I like that quite a bit. So if you want to get an idea of where the crypto market in general is heading, definitely check him out. Into the Cryptoverse, Benjamin Cohen. Link is also in the video description. A lot of value without any hype. Second, we are looking at DeFi. And one channel I really like in the DeFi space is the calculator guy. He explains various concepts quite well. He tries out different platforms. He gives an idea of how much potential risk there might be involved. And the same goes here. There's no hype around this, right? It's just cold analysis. Of course, not all of DeFi is risk off, right? If you farm stable coins, that's relatively risk off. But once you take, for example, rebase tokens, or once you farm a token that's volatile, then you do get exposure to the general crypto market. So you have to be selective on what you actually want to invest in. But simply as a source for knowledge, as a source for how to use DeFi, the Calculator Guys channel is very, very useful. Because the way I look at this is sometimes Bitcoin or crypto in general is in a bullish phase, sometimes it's in a bearish phase. And the issue is a lot of people don't really accept once the market turns around, right? Once it gets bearish, people want to continue to make money. And once you have a concept on how to make money during bearish times, right? Once you know how to get 10, 20, maybe even 30% return on your stable coins, then you can potentially be more risk averse, right? It doesn't hurt so much. You're still deploying your capital. You're still growing your capital, even though you're not exposed to the general crypto market in terms of price volatility. So building up that DeFi skill, even though you might not deploy all your capital in DeFi, right? But building up that skill, I think is very valuable simply to give the flexibility to be mentally open, to earn yield on stable coins, when the picture doesn't look that positive. And so that's the second channel, the calculator guy. So, so far we've got one channel that deals with the macro picture, one channel that deals with skills that we can apply during a bear market. Now, what about the bull market? For that, we ideally want to follow a hype channel, right? A channel that really gets excited about new projects, that spots those projects relatively early, and that knows how to make money during potentially bullish times. And for that, I think, the channel of Jesse Eckel. I'm not sure how I pronounce his name correctly. That channel is very useful. Be aware though, a lot of this is very, very, very high risk. So you really only want to get into any of those projects if there's really very positive momentum in the crypto market. This channel does not make the distinction here whether or not to invest in those projects during bullish or bearish times, right? This is a pretty classic hype channel, but it does find the projects relatively early. And so when consuming this kind of content, be very, very careful. Right now, I think it's not the right time to get into any of the content, into any of the projects that are presented over here. That being said, I do think channels like this have a real value add, have a reason for existence because they might help us outperform. They might help us spot projects early during times when we want to get a lot of exposure, where we do want to be exposed to price risk. So here we go, short and sweet. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give this a like. Links to all of the channels are in the video description. If you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe to this channel as well, of course. And you also might wanna check out the Telegram group. Simply search for Bitcoin Strategy Channel within the Telegram app. We are around 1,600 people now. There's also a smaller group, around 60 people. That's the premium group. You can ask me any questions directly over there. The link is in the video description, thebitcoinstrategy.com. 
We don't just have a chat, right? We've got exclusive content as well. And on top of that, daily market updates. So where we look at Bitcoin, where we look at altcoins, and where we try to find out the probabilities of where the market might be headed. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.